everyone, welcome back to my Tomb Raider Underworld playthrough. Today we are playing through an extremely short section of the game. It's called Andaman Sea. So basically in the last level, Lara finally found Thor's hammer. So now she is paying Natla and Amanda a visit. We found out from Zip at the start of the last video that Amanda now has a sister ship to the first one that sank called the Tisiphone. It is currently floating in the Andaman Sea off the coast of Thailand. Basically, I think Amanda and Natla are trying to figure out maybe what Lara found in Thailand and where she is and what she's up to, stuff like that. So Lara is heading there now to find out the location of Helheim and then kill them. This level is really, really fun. We get to use the hammer for the first time. I'm so excited. So in the end, Amanda helped me a great deal by digging up the Queen of Atlantis and keeping her caged. And now with Thor's hammer, I have the power to force Natla to tell me the location of Helheim and then to remove her from this world forever. Okay, and we've got outfit choices. We've got Jungle Heavy again, Jungle Pants and jungle shorts. I'm actually going to go with jungle pants because that's the only outfit we haven't worn yet. So yeah, let's wear that one. Okay, and then I mean, look, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what gun we have because I'm using the hammer. Rituals old, let's go and equip the hammer. So this time as we go through Amanda's ship, the enemies infinitely respawn if you don't move on from the area. So I guess they did that maybe just to let you have a little bit of extra fun with the hammer if you want to, which is nice, but I'm not gonna spend ages just indefinitely like killing enemies. But anyway, let's go. If this is what being a god feels like, I like it. The power. Look at him flying through the air. Oh, I'm sorry, did you say something? Not now. The power. Where's that coming from? Did I get everyone? I think I did. Right. This outfit is so badass too. I love it. Yeah, instead of sticky grenades this time, we've got Thor's hammer. Yeah, you want some lightning? <laughs> now I can just be like, lightning bolt for you. Lightning bolt for you. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Maybe too much fun. Maybe. 
But I don't think so. I don't need a medipack. I'm a god. Boom. Bye bye. Enjoy your swim. Okay, let's keep going. Come on guys, where are you? Oh, is there not more? More of you than that? That's disappointing. Okay. Fine. Seriously, where's all the enemies? <gasps> Lightning bolt for you! Lightning bolt for you! You feeling left out? Here's one. Here's one for you. Ooh. Where'd that come from? Woo! Oh, I'm having a really good time. I'm having such a good time, guys. <laughs> I love this. I love this level so much. Avalon, Helheim, I don't care what it's called. Where is it? Look at all you've done. Incredible. I will never doubt you again. Tell me. Now. Very well. But before you put me to death, tell me, are you prepared to wait for Odin to appear and perform a ritual to open Helheim? <laughs> and you know this ritual, of course. I'm sure you've realized that I want to get to Avalon just as much as you do. But neither of us can go alone. You need my ritual, and I need your hammer. If? No, when you step out of line, you'll get it. <laughs> Stop! You destroyed my home. You killed Alistair! I got what I wanted. Isn't that all we care about? Wow, I don't think we have ever seen Lara that angry before. The only thing that rivals it is the where is my mother scene. So just a brief summary of that. Lara enters the room where Natla is being held prisoner and demands Natla tell her where Helheim slash Avalon is. Lara holds up Mjolnir as a threat, but Natla then informs Lara that there is a ritual that must be performed to open Helheim. And if Lara doesn't want to have to wait for the god Odin to appear and perform it, then Lara will have to not kill Natla so Natla can perform this ritual. Natla then reveals that she wants to get to Avalon just as much as Lara does. Natla says they need each other. Lara needs Natla's ritual and Natla needs Lara's hammer. Just before Lara's about to free Natla, Amanda and the doppelganger enter. And I do just want to put in a little bit of a personal opinion here, but I do not like Amanda's character model in this game. I think she looks really unwell or something. It like, I just preferred her character model in the previous game and not so much time has passed since Legend where she would have gotten that unwell, you know, in that amount of time. So yeah, I'm just, I'm not a fan of her character model in this game at all, but it's not important. <laughs> 
Amanda tries to stop Lara from freeing Natala using the stolen Wraith Stone, but the doppelganger unexpectedly attacks her, throwing Amanda through a glass floor. So, I mean, if Natala created the doppelganger, then Natala obviously has ultimate control of the doppelganger and the fact that Amanda wouldn't realize that is really really stupid but anyway so I don't know Natla has obviously informed the doppelganger to I guess get rid of Amanda and protect Lara like not harm Lara at all costs because Natla knows she needs Lara to use the hammer so she can get to Avalon. Lara then attacks the doppelganger with Mjolnir, but unfortunately the doppelganger dodges every bolt and then she runs off. Lara, in a rage, smashes Natla's glass prison. She considers killing her, but then thinks of Avalon and her mother. Lara tells Natla to get out of her sight. And Natla gives Lara the coordinates and tells her to meet her there. So Natla has provided Lara with the coordinates of Helheim. They're going to meet there. Lara's going to use her hammer. Natla's going to perform a ritual and they're going to get finally to Avalon. And Lara is going to get to find out what happened with her mother. But clearly Natla has some really bad evil plan <laughs> an evil reason why she wants to get to Avalon and Lara is clearly just so blinded by wanting to find out what happened to her mother that she's not considering what she's doing here but yeah I guess we will find out in the next section the next section is the final section this is another really really short game but have really, really enjoyed playing it. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate if you would give it a like, a comment, or subscribe if you haven't already. It really does mean a lot to me, and I will see you really, really soon in the final part of Underworld.